We just saw how Teradata stores dates internally, but when they're displayed, you will either have integer date or ANSI date if you're using an application like SQL Assistant or BTIC. Now, integer date is YY slash MM slash DD and ANSI date YYYY dash MM dash DD or you might be using the Nexus and it will display like that. Integer date really means how dates are stored internally, but you can request integer date for one display purposes or you can do it with ANSI date for another. When the system arrives, the DBA will usually set something called the date form. And this is going to either display integer date or ANSI date. The date form will be the expected format for the load utilities, fast load, T-pump, multi-load, BT, things of this nature. Now, that default can be overwritten by you, the user, at the session level at any time. Or, it depends also on what application you're using that you can set it in there. I logged on to BTIC. I said select date, and I've got an integer date here with two-digit year. Then I did a dot set session date form equals ANSI date, and now I did the date again, and now I've got Y, 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 and that's the way you reset this. Teradata always does their little conversion to convert these dates before they're displayed. Now, by default, everything is an integer date, a two-digit year, but the DBA can set that to ANSI date or you can do the same. Now, remember the keywords date, current date, time, current time, and only current timestamp are how you get the reserved words. And on your Nexus, those will show up in blue. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. The Nexus Query Chameleon, a query tool looking to help your data adapt to any surroundings. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.